Come on, Will. They deserve to know. They'll respect you for telling the truth. But what if they don't? Hello there. You seem to be struggling with something. Can I be of any help, my fellow bro? It's... It's nothing. I just have a big decision to make. When it comes to the truth, is there not just one path to choose? I could lose a lot. An honest life always presents the most gains. Thank you. You give me a lot to think about. It's clear what I have to do. May our own strength be with you. Wait. Did he not wash his hands? Forget taking his advice. Time for more inspiring gym selfies. We live in a world where things are not quite as they seem. People have conflicting arguments on every topic. So, how do we discern the truth, especially when exploring answers to life's most important debate? Is the fitness influencer that you follow natty or not? Today I'm going to show you guys how to spot a fake natty. The first thing that we got to look at is their IG bio. Now, nobody's going to confess all their secrets here. I don't have a fuzzy handcuff emoji in mine. A fake natty's not going to have a syringe in theirs. So, we got to read between the lines. Do they claim natural in their bio? Seems like they're already pretty defensive about it. Do they claim nothing? Maybe they don't want to lie to their followers. Is it a lose-lose proposition? Yes, of course it is. Welcome to social media. I'm gonna show you guys my daily routine that I do every single morning, and that is my morning shake. I can't go a day without it. I have it precisely at 9.59 a.m., and here's the ingredients that go in it. So we're gonna start off with one of these pre-shaken milkshake Rolos. Gonna go right into our blender, 360 calories full of sugar, full of fat, everything that we want to stay shredded and stay jacked. Whole thing, just like so. Next up, we're gonna add a full Snickers bar because you are not you when you are not shredded. So a full bar right on in. Of course, we're gonna go with some pineapple because we lead by example. We wanna keep the relationship alive. So a nice handful of that. And then we're gonna eyeball some oats, a slow digesting carb, a good complex carb to keep us full. Again, I'm not weighing anything out. There we go. And then last but not least, it symbolizes my bedroom's golden ratio, which is 10 Timbits. You gotta have precisely nine chocolate ones and then one honey dip. Gonna go right in and then we're gonna get a few ice cubes and that is gonna be my shake. Now, one thing you gotta keep an eye out for is that a fake natty will always have an out of the ordinary daily routine. Whether that be getting up at 2 a.m., having a weird exercise that they do, or having a diet that'll have you more fit for a TLC show than the beach. Now, why would a fake natty lie about their daily routine? Great question. It's because a fake natty not only wants to look their best, but they want you to look your absolute worst. That way they can feel dominant, standing high upon the underdeveloped shoulders of their followers. See, the thing is, the worse that you look, the more you need us. Then you'll buy more programs, you'll buy more supplements, and hey, before you know it, checkmate. I'm your dad. Well, aren't you going to finish that? (laughs) No. Are you rolling still? Maybe. Another sure giveaway that there are fake natties that they wear, Jim. Maybe we should cut that one, Coffee. Yeah, let's cut that one out. Yeah. For today's workout, we're going to be following a workout from my brand new program that was just released. Um, state-of-the-art chest day it's exactly what i did uh, to look the way that i do right now a fake natty selling your programs like getting a hello fresh delivery with the recipe and no food it's gonna make it hard to look like the picture without the special ingredient people are gonna say why lie about your natural status you know there's not narcs in the comment section waiting to arrest you the reason to lie is the same reason why the people on the hub say that every girl's 18. money One of the first things that we all notice is the sudden increase in size and strength. So we all know about new gains and apparently a second wave occurs for just a few months after five to 10 years of training. Dang bro, that's insane progress on that bench. Thanks man, funny because like the less benching I do, the more it goes up in my diet. Dude, why are you freaking attacking me? Like what the heck? 
why are you doing this? Like you're being so disrespectful to me. Just turn this thing off. Sudden increases in strength and size are significant warning signs on the hunt for a fake natty. Are they shredded and full year round? That's definitely a sign to be concerned of. Nothing is supposed to stay hard, full, and vascular at all times. And when it does, it's certainly not natural. In my case, pretty concerning around the six hour mark. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen right now. This is me at my leanest state ever. So I was 173 pounds in this photo. Keep in mind right now I'm 192 pounds. So a pretty big weight gap. Every single day when I woke up, I felt flat one day, I felt full one day. It was always different. Nothing stayed the exact same. When you're natural, you gotta pick one. Do you wanna look big in clothes? You gotta have a higher body fat. Do you wanna be shredded? You're gonna look smaller in clothes. You can't have it all. That's the sad truth about being natural. Even more so than dating, it's important to look out for the gym red flag. So an easy giveaway somebody is a fake natty is by their delts. They're more rounded and firm than Vin Diesel's head. The reason being is that the delts and the traps have a high concentration of androgen receptors, meaning they respond very well to steroids. Like a brand new lifter, an unnatural one can achieve results by just sniffing the iron in the air. They have no thought to their training. Their training sucks, just pounding away at the same thing all day as if they're 14 again. Ultimately, you would think that they're being trained by Goku. Certainly something unnatural, not him. And last but not least, a fake natty will always offer to get tested. All done? All done. Perfect, thanks bro. But one of two things will happen. The first thing is they'll get the test and have below average testosterone. Hmm, I wonder how cycling gear works. And the second thing is on the day of the test, they'll jet set out to Dubai where the closest thing to a scientist is the mixologist flown in from Ibiza. Warm. Is their life looking like one big Ziz tribute without the transparency? Is their life all about partying and girls with sparklers carrying drinks their way? Their life is all about bottle service and shots. Not just the club version, but the kind you get from a balding middle-aged man with an oversized bolt hoodie. His name's Frank. He's very friendly, but don't worry, he's discreet. Um, hey, how's it going? Can I get a 10-piece bucket? You would think that their frat boy lifestyle would endow them with a beer belly, but instead, their abs are as hard as a keg. So, for lunch today, we got some KFC, a 10-piece bucket. And I'm gonna start with the white meat because I get plenty of dark meat. And I believe the chicken at KFC has 11 herbs of spices that are secret. So I'm gonna taste in my own medicine today. And I have a very special place in my heart for KFC because it's one of the first breasts I've ever had in my mouth. I love chicken skin. Never allowed to have it as a kid, but I am one happy man right now. Though my stomach is gonna be a sad country song in about a couple hours. I will say though, and I'm gonna start some controversy right now, I will say Popeyes is better. I miss the Cajun seasoning. I feel like there's more effort put into it. This is kind of just like, fry up the chicken, you know? And I can't really taste any spice at all, let alone 11. Really quickly gonna interrupt the video to announce the Oculus giveaway winner from my diet and training video. And the winner is, I'll put the comment on the screen, too much Kim underscore XO and she would live in GTA. I can't relate. Now back to me. I'm gonna show you guys how I make one of my favorite protein anabolic desserts. So what you're gonna need is some protein powder, some low calorie bread, Anyone coconut that milk. looks at him and thinks that he's natural is a complete idiot. You're five years old in imagination land. Wake up and grow and turn into a six year old. Six year olds who know this guy's not natural. A fake natty hates Greg Doucette and will not follow him on any social media platform. Hearing him scream is like when you hear your mom scream upstairs when you know you did not clean your room. You hope he goes on his little bicycle ride and somehow doesn't manage to make his way home to film another video. You can run with a lie, but you can't hide from the truth. Greg will catch you. I don't know about you, but I can tell somebody's a fake natty, even at a steak dinner. They dress to show off their physique like a trophy wife celebrating their silicone anniversary. Like, we get it, bro. You worked hard for these muscles. Yeah. 
They're looking at my gains. And last but certainly not least, a fake natty can never let anything go. They have to defend themselves at all costs. So let's see what Reddit has to say about me. Natty or juice? Geeks really think that scumbag fake natty piece of trash, Will Tennyson, is actually natty. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay, bro. Okay, bro. Never heard of good lighting, bro? IMO, he is not natty, at least Sarms and Clen, you're around. Guess you've never heard of good genetics, bro. That would explain why your dad is also your uncle. Will Tennyson, AKA good boy, who is the biggest fake natty in the fitness industry at the moment. There are so many delusional people out there who actually think Will is natty and has me laughing so hard. He has shown me red flags for not being natty. Okay, bro. You clearly haven't been lifting for long enough. So get off your phone and do a couple more curls before Italians start mistaking you for spaghetti. Will Tennyson, if you think he's natty, clown face? He's just out here trying to inspire people. This world needs more positivity. The only negative around here would be his drug testing. All hail Snatty. So that was 13 ways that you can spot a fake natty so you never have to browse the web with any doubt. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you think we fell for it, Kofi? I think we got him this time. Yeah.